Well, shooters and reloaders out there, it's Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the Hot Lead Zone Express. And we get into our video of today, which is to discuss and reload the 38 caliber hollow base wad cutter. Let's get okay. So, what you see are hollow base 38 caliber wad cutters, the ones on the right are Remington from about uh, 50 years ago when I did PPC competition. The two brass ones on the left are Barry bullets. Now notice that Barry, who came along much later to make these hollow base wad cutters with their plated bullets, actually modeled their bullets after the Remington hollow base wad cutter. So you notice the thick skirt which helps to resist against the skirts being blown off by powder charges. And you notice the architecture of the nose, very similar to the Remington. It's a good design. And of course, they have those little grooves on the side of the bullet. Those are for holding the powder type of lube that Remington used to lubricate these bullets that were swedged. The berry bullets are also swedged, but they left the grooves out for good reason. When you got a plated bullet, you don't need to worry about lube. So these have been shot for many, many years in competition to complete satisfaction. And the problem is today it's hard to get these because they're not being produced in the quantities that used to be produced in years past. The Production now is all geared toward military and uh, full metal jacket, 9 millimeter rounds and this kind of thing. So we're in short supply of these. However, Berries is an independent company and we can get Berries wad cutters in hollow base persuasion now without any trouble at all. So are these as good as those? Well, we'll find out. Now the brass I'm going to use is Winchester Western brass that was straight from my big cache of 38 specials that I use for PPC shooting. And these of course have been dry media tumbled and stored over the years. I'm just going to slowly go ahead and use those up and then go to wet tumbling. But right now these are dry tumbled brass cases stored in jugs for long term. So I've got 56 rounds here, kind of an odd uh, number. Well to reload this Remington 148 grain hollow base wad cutter, we're going to use the entire RCBS cowboy die set, starting with the sizing die, carbide, then the neck expanding mouth flaring die, and then the bullet seating crimping die. However, to load the berry bullet 148 grain hollow base wad cutter, we're going to use the Redding die set, but we're going to do all the resizing and depriming with the RCBS carbide sizing and depriming die, but then go ahead and expand and mouth flare with the Redding die, and then seat the bullet and crimp with the Redding Cedar Crimper die. We're not going to use the Redding full length sizer and depriming die. Now we can't show you the reloading scenes because those are taboo because uh, they are destructive to allow you to see those. There you see the bullets put into the last cases that were done so we know they're all good. Also we're going to be priming with our Lee Ram Prime and we're going to use CCI 500 small pistol primers. Okay, all those cases are nicely primed. Now getting ready to do the powder charging and bullet seating which will be done together. So the Hornady has gone ahead and thrown a 2.7 grain charge. Now during the reloading of these bullets we're going to talk about some information that you will not see on other YouTube videos. So 
Some of you out there probably know some of this information already, but a lot of you have not heard some of this information. So I invite you to go over to Rumble and check out the full video over there. So the world of the 38 Special Hollow Base Wad Cutter is indeed a very special world. And unfortunately you can't see the reloading on YouTube. But here are the final rounds and we're going to enjoy shooting these at the range. See you at the range. Bye for now.